And with the presidential election less than four months away, the Bell County Elections Department will be holding a voter registration and education event today. Texas Today reporter Mike Rogers is live in the studio for us this morning. And Mike, this event will be going on in Colleen this afternoon, right? Yeah, good morning, Jasmine. Yes, the Bell County Elections Department's voter registration and education event will take place at the Colleen Civic and Conference Center starting at 9 a.m. today. Bell County Elections staff will be on hand to answer questions from voters, check voter registration status, and get you on the registration roll from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. today. Staff will also be leading training sessions throughout the day during two separate sessions at both noon and 4 p.m. Trainings will get voters ready to join the volunteer deputy registrars, allowing them to become qualified to officially register voters for the state. The list of qualifications to become a VDR can be found on the Texas Secretary of State's website. There will also be three separate training sessions offered at 10 a.m., 2 p.m., and 5.30 p.m. for current election workers on mandatory Americans with Disabilities Act training. And in McLennan County, voters heard from Donis Wilson, who will be on the ballot replacing the late Patricia Miller with a call for unity and participation in this upcoming election. We're going pretty quick, but uh, very humbled and proud that uh, the Republican Party picked me to be their candidate tonight. Uh, there was some good other people that put their names in the hat. Uh, it was hard fought, but we are united, and we're going to go forward and, uh, and bring us together. According to the Texas Secretary of State's website, there are over 200,000 voters registered in Bell County, but only 38% of voters cast a ballot in the 2022 midterm elections. And if you want to be part of the Registrar's Department, there will also be three separate training sessions offered at 10 a.m., 2 p.m., and 5.30 p.m. for current election workers, as we said, on those mandatory American with Disabilities Act trainings, guys. Okay, Mike, thank you so much for that report.